Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rubbed and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be going over how you could be possibly earning up to thousands upon thousands of battle points each and every Battlefront 2 game you play. Now, what are battle points used for if you're not too familiar with Battlefront 2? Well, battle points are the points that you use to buy higher tier soldiers or ships or even heroes in-game whilst getting kills or playing the objective to earn them. So before we do get into today's video guys, if you could kindly go ahead and leave a like on the video, try and get this video to 40 likes and that'd be greatly appreciated. Hopefully this tip and exploit kind of helps you out quite a bit, although it probably may get patched in the future, it is still technically classed as an exploit, but you will definitely not be banned for it. Do not panic or anything about that, because you're not going to get in trouble for this, it's simply how the game is made and you're not breaking any rules by following this video or this guide. So essentially if you don't know in a galactic assault match there are always ships fighting above you now not all of these are player ships meaning the ai ai tend to be a little bit easier to kill in a multiplayer game so what you want to do is straight away at the start of a game is try and get a ship so this will only cost you 600 minimum depending what team or ship you're buying and it's honestly not that much you can easily get that in one lifespan at the start of a game so you want to do this as early as you can because it will benefit you in the long run of the game towards your success and how many kills you'll get that game. So once you do get enough points to buy a ship, make sure it's a good one, get straight up in the air and start annihilating the enemy AI ships or even enemy ships in total. If someone else has the same idea as you as to get in a ship, then you'll have a bit of a tougher dogfight in the air. But apart from that, the AI enemy ships will be very easy to counter. So you just want to kill a few ships and honestly it doesn't take that much time. You can just keep killing these AI ships as they constantly spawn in. The best places I'd probably say for doing this is Kashyyyk in the air because either way you can also shoot towards the ground or you can keep your dogfights in the air against enemy ships and either way you're going to make a lot of points and also star killer base if you're on the rebel side as when you are flying against star killer base all the enemies are spawning on the ground right in one little tunnel basically and also the enemy AI ships are constantly spawning and for a massive majority of the game the first order or the stormtroopers can't actually get any ships in the air either way as actual players as they don't actually have the option as they're spawning in a base and they're coming out into the open battlefield they can't actually do anything in terms of airspace they just have to let the enemy ai ships take control which is a big bummer for them because honestly if you're a rebel ship you're probably going to have a nice x-wing or a-wing and you can do a lot of damage against crappy tie fighters so you're going to have a great time if you are in a tie fighter obviously you're going to be in a disadvantage because they are probably the hardest to turn in terms of ships in Battlefront 2 and they're just slower than just about any ship in the game. They are quite fast but they're, they're horrible in maneuverability against other ships. But if you want me to crack that down in short for you guys, it's simply get as many points as you can in your first life, enough to get in a ship, so kind of play it safe. Once you've got a ship, go in the air, defeat as many enemy ships as you can, and then once you actually eventually get out of the ship, which you can stay in as long as you stay alive, once you get out, you can have thousands of points, or even hundreds, but still, you can build them up very quickly, and it really does allow you to buy heroes very quickly. As long as people aren't playing as the hero that you want to be, you will easily be able to get whichever one you want, as obviously, as I've mentioned, this exploit or this method really does get you so many battle points and you can buy whatever you want for the rest of the game if you do it well enough and obviously if you want to get more points because you've ran out just jump straight back in a ship and there you go you can just go back to getting your points your battle points hopefully this has benefited you guys and please let me know if it has also if you don't have anything to comment just comment hashtag xwing in the comments down below as comments and likes really do help out the video in terms of growth also, if you're new, remember to subscribe because we're very close to 5,000 now. We're about 72 subscribers away, which is an incredibly small number, and I know that you guys can help me out in that end. Thank you very much though, for tuning in. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Battlefront 2, Destiny 2, and Fortnite tips, tricks, and news, and updates in the community. My name's been Erupt, and have a great day.